Can you there? Everybody get it out of their system. You yeah. said hi. You're gonna hear yourselves on the website. Woo! Okay. So we're looking at two A. So first of all, let's look. Two A. Um, is it SSA? How do we tell if it's SSA? Lovely. That's gonna be on here too. Woohoo! Oh, no. Okay. Ready? You're gonna laugh when you look this now. Okay. So. To tell if it's SSA, we look at the... Oh, bugger. Stop moving. Oh, bugger. Um, okay, you ready? So we look at the angle. Angle B. If it's SSA, we need another side, but we need what side in particular? Side B. The same letter as the angle. Okay, so we know... We know it's SSA, so we know, oh, this could be one of those wonky cases. We need to look at it a little closer. All right, let's see. Um, so what side are we not given? C. C, awesome. We know A, we know B, so we don't know C. We're going to draw a line to represent C because we don't know where, how long it is. Okay? We are given angle B. So angle B is 100 degrees. So is that going to be like straight up? Is it going to be like back this way? Is it going to be to the left? Which way is it going to go? It's going to be out. It's going to be more than 90. Awesome. Okay? And it says that is how long? Ooh, what side would that be? A. A. It's A. A is how long? A is 8. Okay? And we know that is A because where is B? B is the one that's over across from the angle. Okay, so this guy, in order for us to draw this line somewhere along here, okay, what's special about this angle? What's special about angle B? It is the biggest angle. So if it's the biggest angle, then the side across from it has to be the biggest good job okay because if this is opening out wide this is the widest it's going to open the side across from it is going to be the longest okay the other angles are going to be smaller so the other sides should be smaller so we need to look and see is side b bigger than side a because if it's not it's not going to touch so it's got to be bigger than side a it's also got to be bigger than the Okay, so is side B, B bigger than side A? Is it? Whoop. Side B is 10 centimeters. Okay, since it is bigger than side A, we know it's going to touch. So it will be a possible triangle. You don't technically have to find the height, but they were getting you to practice finding the height with these ones. If it's obtuse, as long as this side across from the angle is bigger than the other side, it will touch. If it's the same, it's not going to be able to make a triangle because it's not going to be able to touch anywhere on that line. If it's smaller, it's still not going to be able to touch. So it has to be bigger than that other side. Utter. That's not a good word. Okay? Does, does that make sense? Yeah. So the obtuse angle in the case of the ambiguous sign law is much easier. Sorry. Okay? So since 10 centimeters is bigger than 8 centimeters, there is whoop, one triangle. Okay? And you've drawn it. Is that all it asked for? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, how do you know? How do you know there's not another one? Because the only way you could touch with that 10 centimeters, if you went, it would be if it went this way, right? It's got to swing this way, but it can't touch that line. It's got to touch that line. Yep. What would the height be? Oop. Do, 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 do. Think of it like this. There's your right triangle. Okay, so you have 8 is the hypotenuse. 
Do we know this angle? Yeah. Okay, this is 100. So this is 80. So we have an angle and we have a side. We can find this is 8. Okay, so it's like this. This is your right angle. This is 8. And this, we said, was 80. Okay, so then you can find the height still. Okay, but you don't have to find the height when it's obtuse. If you just compare the legs, it saves you work. If you're asked to in the question, that's how you do it. Okay, it's to give you another point, but you don't actually have to compare it. It's just a little more work. Okay? All right, that's it for.